Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to smoke some beef short ribs on the char griller acorn. Here are our beef short ribs. These came from Hoof Beak Farms right here in North Carolina. Look at the really nice marbling here. I'll leave a link up above to a video I did about a year ago. We actually visited our farm they have a process of where they raise grain for a local brewery and then after the grain is used they actually give it back to the farm and then they feed their cows so this is basically beer grain fed beef beautiful marbling in here i've already done some trimming on it and i'm gonna go ahead and get these seasoned up for the binder today i'm using black garlic puree this is something that I've used in the past. It leaves a great flavor and also sets a nice bark. It doesn't take a whole lot. We're going to just give us a good coating all around these ribs. See that how dark that color is. The seasoning I'm gonna be using is my rub. It's the ultimate rub. Great all around rub to use on about any kind of protein you want to use. So we're gonna put that as our seasoning today. These are really thick. Some of them are actually thicker than this. So we can hold the rub good. So we'll kind of pat that in and then we'll get the rest of them done and we'll get them out on the acorn. We got the acorn ready. We're gonna be running it right around 275 to 300. I wanna run it kinda, kinda hot and fast on this. I've got my deflector plate in that is covered with foil for easy cleanup. I've also got a bowl of water in here. We're gonna try to keep things moist and get that bark to set really well. Let's go ahead and get these on. We're using a new thermometer in here today. It's either Smart Row or Smart Row. And they sent this to me and wanted me to give it a try and see how we thought about it. So let's go ahead and get this in to one of the thick pieces here. We're gonna check this probably about every hour and I'm gonna spray it with some beef broth Let's close this down and I'll show you how it looks in about one hour. All right, we've been going about a couple of hours. I want to go ahead and check these. I got a little busy, so about 150. It's a little bit thicker here. 147 there. This one's a little thicker too. Same thing, 147 in that area. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Use my favorite sprayer, Mr. Barbecue Mister. A little bit of beef broth. And flame up on me a little bit. I'm gonna let these go for maybe another 30 minutes to an hour. Again, we're running really hot. It's pretty much pushing that 300 mark. We used a little bit of oak today. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. We've been going close to another hour. I want to check them now, see where we're at. I'm going to 
one of the thicker ones, we're right at 163. Let's see where we're at over here. 165, a little thinner one, 167. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off. So we've been going three hours, right around 300 degrees. We're gonna put these in some foil. All right, we got our ribs on some foil. I got it double wrapped here. Kind of make us a little bit of a boat. Close together. Put some of this beef consomme in here. Along with this and some butter is gonna make a great au jus that you can use. Put some butter on here. I like a lot of butter. It's gonna be good stuff. Use the real butter. This is Amish butter. Gonna wrap these up tightly. Get these back on the grill and get our probe in there. Let's get our probe back in here. If I can find right there. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna check these in about another hour. We'll kind of see where we're at at that time. We've been going right at an hour and a half. I wanna check these right now for tenderness. Wow, they look great. Give it the probe test. Still a little bit of resistance right there. Yeah, that's still. That one is pretty good. Still not where we want it. Still got some resistance there. I'm gonna cover these back up and let them go for probably another 30 minutes to an hour. We've been going another hour and a half. So let's check these out right quick. So basically five hours total. You can see they're coming completely off the bone. I know that they are tender. Oh yeah, like butter. Look at this one, jiggly. <laughs> Perfect, all the way through. We are gonna wrap these back up I'm going to put a towel around them and then we're going to put them in a cooler and let them rest for a good hour to two hours and then we'll cut into them at that time. Here are the short ribs and they're coming off that bone but you can see they got that nice jiggle to them. I'm not even going to attempt try to bite them off. I'm just going to cut them right here and then we can cut into the meat to see what we're looking like. And it's just as tender as you can get. Nice. Look at that. It's got us a nice little smoke ring around the outside. Let's cut this. Got a little bit of silver skin on the bottom. We'll kind of cut that off. That is beautiful right there. We'll cut us a few pieces off and give it a try. Very nice. Look at that. Super tender. Lots of juice still coming out of it. Let's try this out right quick. Hey everybody. It's Mason, my son, he's gonna do the taste test with us as always. Mason, go ahead and get the first bite, buddy. What do you think? Is it like really, it's super moist, isn't it? 
really moist, so tender. Putting it in that full, like we did the last hour, hour and a half with that beef consomme. You can use beef broth, whatever you want to, with the butter and just let it sit in there and just get super tender like it did. The 205 probe tender, and then we just put it in a and left it in the foil and then put it in a towel and left it in the cooler for a good hour, hour and a half. Let all the juices back in there absorb the hoof beat beef that is grain, beer grain fed. I can definitely tell a difference. The flavor is just awesome. To me, much better than your typical grain fed beef. My ultimate rub. I have to be biased, it was super good with this. G gave it a great bark as you can tell. And the flavor along with the black garlic puree is you know, second to none. It is amazing. And uh, like you saw, it's got that nice jiggle to it, which you want with a brisket or anything like that. Perfectly cooked. I cannot thank Char Grilling enough for the acorn they sent me. I've got some other stuff that we're gonna be featuring as well. It holds temp really well. I'm still getting used to it. Kind of play around with it a little bit more because it was running a little bit hot, but we got this done in five hours. I can't ask for anything better. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Guys, thank you so much for being with us. If for some reason you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. We are on Roku. We are on Instagram and Facebook. Please go ahead and check it out and leave some comments below. As I said in my previous videos, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear you give me some suggestions of what something that you want to see. And Mason's going to continue getting my way because he's still hungry. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. Until next time. Subscribe, share, and like. Bye. God bless.